Hello and welcome to the Philips NDTV Breathe Clean Conclave. Over the next couple of hours, we're going to try and find solutions to one of the biggest problems that should be plaguing us. The problem of pollution. Whether it's outdoor pollution, indoor pollution, what's happening in rural India, urban India, across the board, our lungs are really starting to pay a very heavy price for the amount of pollution that we have. And our health is also suffering. What can we do about it? What are the practical solutions that there are in front of all of us? That's essentially the question that we are going to try and answer. Um, but let me just start off by welcoming the minister who's in charge of this, who's actually been uh, really concerned about the problem of, of, of uh, pollution and has been trying to do something about it. And he's going to be addressing us right now. Mr. Prakash Javrekar, who's going to be telling us what he thinks about the problem of uh, air pollution and what we can actually do to solve it. Mr. Javrekar, over to you. Let us first, at the outset, let us understand that yes, we have a problem. As many other countries and as many other cities of the world, because the growing number of vehicles, growing population, growing density, growing urbanization, in many parts it's a dust management, in many parts it's stubble burning, it's many parts it's biomass burning, one initiative for indoor pollution is we must create awareness to have more ventilation, more plantation in-house and more education and awareness. If we bring LPGs or smokeless chulas, that becomes revolution, but smokeless chula has its own problem. So providing gas and LPG is the real way out. So providing LPG is one, providing solar rooftop and solar energy a local solution, off-grid solution, is one way out. So you tackle very effectively the indoor pollution problem. Sometimes there's too much focus on just Delhi, as if Delhi is the only city that is having a problem. If you look at rural India, as you yourself are saying, the number of people... I, I understand. So for as other I areas... Diploma, I, am the, I am the sufferer of indoor air pollution because I was in a small town. Yeah. We had no electricity in our house till I went to fourth standard and we got stowed after some time and uh, we were doing on chulas. So I have myself done that work. We have used the wood dust also called bhusa. And so I have a first hand experience and knowledge and problem I have seen throughout the uh, rural life. And therefore we have decided for introducing and taking LPG to all rural households and solar energy to all the remote households so that they get is, the off-grid solution. Is more sol solar cooker, more solar lanterns and everything helps. Is solar energy perhaps going to be a magic bullet that is going to solve a lot of these things? Because we are seeing the price of solar starting to fall and fall very sharply. And, and, and if battery yeah. technology improves but a little bit, solar potentially could sort not just pollution problems, but environmental problems, climate change, a lot of other things. Is that a key priority that all of you are chasing? Let us also understand that solar power, when we started with the generation of solar power, it was 18 rupees. Now the latest tenders are about 6 rupees. So there is a, it's not still uh, at the level of thermal power cost, but still, it, it has come in the range. Great. So all the suggestions that come up here, we will come and present them to you. In the meantime, there is a scroll in front of you, which has got some of the initial ideas that, that have come up from some of the people we've been speaking to, a three-part sort of an agenda. Uh, if you could open that, Prakashi. You have given me the charter. I have seen this. This yeah. is the charter. Yes. That, that. NDTV, breath clean. And yeah. I also want to launch fresh air, my birthright campaign. That's fresh air is my birthright. And okay. we all will work together to have it.